What is up guys, Tech Bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now today we're going to be talking about the Infinix Zero X Pro. Infinix is always one of my top recommendations when it comes to bang for the buck and budget smartphones. And that doesn't really change here because the Zero X Pro is a great one. They really want to slice that mid-range pie and are bringing over their most ambitious phones so far. The Zero X Pro is Infinix's current top tier offering and we're going to be talking about what makes it so good for yet another affordable price tag from the brand. It's legit guys, me, Elle, and Dewey were all pretty shocked. Okay, so being a premium phone, we are not getting the usual green and orange box here. The Zero X Pro comes in a long black box that has a carbon fiber print and the name of the phone written boldly on the front. On the back of the box are the usual specs, which we'll talk about later. And inside the box, we have the documentation, 1x gold, SIM ejector tool, USB-C cable, charging brick, and the black case with the stylized NOW branding. It's neat we're getting a special looking phone case here, but personally, I wouldn't cover up the design. It looks really cool and I really like it. We got ours in nebula black, and the back panel is decked with a midnight blue with a glittery design that's definitely meant to look like stars. After all, one of the main selling points of the Zero X Pro is astrophotography with the periscope camera. And the back panel is made out of glass, making the Zero X Pro the first Infinix phone to not use plastic for the back because the frame is plastic though. It has a boxy design I like, and it does feel good to hold in the hands. And I know glossy finishes attract fingerprints, however, the Zero X Pro is a dark blue, making smudges less noticeable than usual. Overall, it's a win for me. The volume rocker and power buttons are on the right side while the left houses the SIM tray. The bottom has the loudspeaker, USB-C port, and headphone jack. We have a single firing speaker here, and I found it a bit tinny so I suggest using your own headphones or earphones, but yeah, here's an audio sample. While the cameras are the main highlight of the Zero X Pro, you can enjoy seeing your photos with a great display. We have a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. Plus, it has a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling rate for responsive gaming. It's the best display we have ever seen on an Infinix phone, with its vibrant colors and deep blacks. It's also very bright with 700 nits of brightness, making it very usable even under direct sunlight. Now, without a doubt, the Zero X Pro has one of the more impressive rear camera setups we have ever seen on a mid-range phone. We have a 108 megapixel main camera with OIS, 8 megapixel ultrawide, and 8 megapixel periscope with 5 times optical zoom and OIS. And in front, we have the 16 megapixel selfie camera. You know they're serious when they ditch the filler cameras and put a more useful periscope instead. And with that, you're able to shoot even the moon with up to 60 times digital zoom. Here's a sample shot, and for a budget mid range camera, this has a lot of detail. And here's a photo from the main camera just for reference so you know just how far we were able to zoom. And of course, the 108 megapixel main camera took great shots in almost all lighting situations. Yes, even in the dark or at night. And the same goes for the 8 megapixel ultrawide as well as the selfie camera. The color accuracy appears to be consistent with both back cameras, though the main camera has a wider dynamic range which isn't so surprising. Now powering the Zero X Pro is a Helio G95 processor that's paired with 8GB RAM and 128GB of storage. With the impressive features the Zero X Pro has for its display and cameras, Infinix took a step back when it came to the processor. Is it bad? Not really. Depends on your preference. But take note that the Helio G95 is a very capable processor. It's basically at par with popular mid-range 4G processors like the Snapdragon 720G. And considering the price of the phone, it's still a bang for the buck set of internals. Now last, keeping the phone alive is a 4500mAh battery, 
which is pretty standard but shocked us with 17 hours and 4 minutes from 100 to 20%. That is really impressive and you're gonna have lots of time to play all your favorite games and watch all your favorite videos. It also has support for 45 watt fast charging, which is the fastest charging speed on an Infinix phone to date. This topped it up from 20 to 100% in just 40 minutes. And while it's not the 160 watt charging that was teased, it has really impressive battery stats for a mid-ranger. There you have it, Infinix is stepping up their game with the Zero X Pro. Despite being marketed as a mainstream mid-range phone, Infinix managed to stuff it with flagship features. That includes the 120Hz AMOLED display, OIS on both the periscope and 108MP main camera, and 45W wired fast charging. While there may be mixed thoughts about the Helio G95 processor, the Zero X Pro is a very promising mid-range offering, especially with a very affordable price of just 14,990 pesos. And it's even cheaper on October 5 for just 13,890 pesos. Links to that down below. You guys can check out more reviews and unbox that page. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification icon if you want to get updates when you drop videos. Once again, it's your tech bro, Chalo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.